Welcome back. We are looking at Bitcoin on the daily time frame right now. And happy day, happy day. Is Bitcoin bullish? Well, if you say no, have fun. You're shorting. Anyway, what you can see is going on. We actually did end up breaking out from one, the areas in which we were talking about primarily where we needed to get above. And then once we were able to get those couple closures above there, we just room, room back towards the upside. Now, what I also mentioned in yesterday's video was like, I, I mentioned this very briefly. So if you didn't catch that, um, basically what I was talking about here is if we can get rid of this, that there is the potential chance if like QQQ and like SPY and basically all the tech stocks were to continue heading further down from here because you do technically have uh, in the more immediate term, uh, more bear structure here where you are making lower highs and then lower lows um, that you can have pretty much stocks go down, but crypto go up. Basically, people would be then rotating into crypto, excuse me, which would pretty much give Bitcoin and the alts the oomph to like continue furthering up. Now, I know I kind of went on a bit of a tangent right there, but continuing to Bitcoin, we ended up rallying through. We needed to break through here like decisively um, with this next try up. If we didn't, then it wasn't going to be looking good, but clearly we did. Now, we are, or one, we did end up tagging that 35K point, which is pretty cash money. Right now, we currently are at about 34,600 or and change, but regardless, the area that we are going to be primarily looking for, at least for the time being, is going to be about 38K. That's what we entitled yesterday's video. Uh, that 38K would be inbound just from what we were looking at. So, and that was really before this pump ended up happening. You got back up to here, but it wasn't what the breakthrough was. So that being said, 38K is going to be the major level to look for. Anything afterwards, <clears throat> um, I would be wary of. Uh, not to say that we would have like a massive dump from there, but it could ultimately end up getting like a move up and then another long consolidation or some type of correction of any sorts, because you can see even over here, we've pushed up and then we just consolidated in a large range for months. But the overall move was happened in like, what, a couple of days. So, um, well, each move, I guess, each phase of the move. But um, other than that, I'm mainly going to be looking for 38K for until we end up hitting it. Uh, if should anything else change, uh, I will be sure to update you guys. And lastly, the only other thing that I did want to mention with this is those levels that we had marked right on over here from May of 2022, we did end up breaking them, which is another like indication that we can say that we definitely, 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 definitely are more so bullish now. So that being said, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Other than that, adios muchachos.